Community ponds around Parangi Pete block of Kaveri tail end, Tamil Nadu, have been completely deteriorated by water hyacinth and made water unavailable to people for any household purposes, reduced fish production and loss of aquatic biodiversity. During flooding, this plant overflows into the paddy field and becomes weed. Also, by clogging the irrigation channels, reduces the water flow into the paddy field, resulting in lesser yield. Cleaning these ponds manually or using chemicals never worked out. Neither economical, as it multiplies at faster rate, populations can double in as little as six days, nor environment friendly by chemical contamination. Hence, biological control is an alternative. Water hyacinth contaminated ponds need to be cleaned without harming their biological system and made available to people around the area. In turn, arresting the growth of water hyacinth, its population can be slowly eradicated and the dried weed can be used alternatively for mushroom production and cattle feed. Improving the water quality indirectly controls mosquitoes breeding. To overcome such situations and meet the demand, water needs to be treated. Tackling the root cause, that is, prevention and management of water hyacinth in its primitive stage would unravel the situation. In turn, it would enhance the quality and quantity of available water. The studies conducted by the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation have found that management of water hyacinth could effectively be done using grass carp. And also, there are reports showing its control using weevil. The present proposal would concentrate on management of this weed using these two organisms. Improving the quality of water would directly enhance the production and productivity of fish and rice nutritional security, reduction in drudgery of women. Overall, the management of water hyacinth would help to regain the biological diversity in the water system, be eco-friendly and economical. This would serve as the model to be practiced throughout the country. The present proposal has been arrived at after the observation of some of the ponds in Parangipete block of Kaveri tail end region in coastal Tamil Nadu for a period of two years. The community ponds stocked with grass carp along with other carps showed lesser or no water hyacinth outbreak. Severe outbreak was observed in the non-stocked ponds. Grass carp has great potential as a biological weed control agent well known from its feeding habits. Grass carp or amur has been used for aquatic weed biocontrol agent though there are some insects, the mite, the moth, the miridae, the weevils which control water hyacinth infestation, the last two species have provided the best results when used within an integral control program. However, its impact has been different. Some opine that control of water hyacinth solely by the use of insects has been successful. In a few cases, its control is based on the size of the weed. Plant quality might influence the abundance of neochetina. Weevil populations increase slowly and therefore weevil density is too low for control. In addition, these insects have relatively long life cycles 60 to 120 days. Slow population buildup compared to plant growth rate. Therefore, plant reproduction may occur far more rapidly than the damage inflicted by the weevils. Hence, a combination of weevil and amur would be the better solution and has been tried to control water hyacinth.